people that are playing stupid games up there, you're going to win stupid prizes, dumbass. It's the most addictive show I've ever seen. <laughs> Guys, I'm Red Rum. This is not a startup guide. This is startup gameplay. This is what I actually did on a maxed server, 75 players, vanilla settings uh, in 2021, just after the 0.5 update. This is just going to show you how to start strong and fast and what to do to have a decent amount of protection and get your loot up, get your guns and get going. A bit of PvP in there, kill a few people in this. PvP is the main aim of the game if you ask me, so with that, let's get into it. So we're going to start with set your age to 50 and your penis size small. Uh, that'll give you max intelligence, that's where I want my stats to go. Everything else there is just cosmetic, so don't worry about that. Let's go to skill selection now. We're going to do max melee weapons because I'm just going to want to beat the fuck out of zombies. Uh, we can do rifles later. Running and endurance can pretty much be the same. Stealth must be maxed so you can sneak around the mechs. A little bit of thievery for picking. Max engineering because we're going to want to build shit. Survival so you can see north. Camouflage so you can hide in bushes basically. And awareness because you want to be able to see things. So this is where we're going to start out, the Z1 bunker, one of the newer bunkers. You could do this at most bunkers, but this one is particularly good because it has so many buildings. This is where it's at on the map, on the new section down the bottom. It's a cool bunker. This is where we're going. So let me show you the pitfalls of auto running. I do this a lot to get run going, a lot of running in this game. And I've obviously run too far. Heading straight towards those zombies. This is not looking good. Got that meaty scary one there. That dangerous snake at the back. Absolutely fucking cornered. No way out of here. I'm not ashamed to say it. I don't matter what it is. It was at this moment that he knew. He fucked up. Let's go again. So the first thing you're going to want to do is get these padlocks. You get them from like filing cabinets, these boxes I'm looting now. You're just going to want to stack up full of those padlocks. You know, you need at least 15 to do what we're going to do in the beginning now. You're going to be battling zombies in there. This is why we maxed our melee. Because for early game, you're going to want to beat the shit out of those zombies. So you can see my health's quite low there. You're gonna get busted up a bit. As long as you don't die, it's gonna be okay. No! Have a quick heal <laughs> next to that fucking crazy zombie. You got knocked the fuck out, man! That's max melee weapons for you. That guy's just smashed straight away. Because we're gonna loot on through here, that's what we want. A toolbox. 15 locks in a toolbox, it's exactly what we need and we're going to be able to craft ourselves a gold lock now. You can see those padlocks I'm showing you there in my backpack. Into your crafting menu, the gold lock there enforced. 15 gold locks and a toolbox. It's the first thing you need to do. So this is where we're headed, one of these brown sheds. This shed's patrolled by a mech out the front, so he'll provide you with some support if people try to pick. So we jump on in here, press tab to bring up the lock slots. Put your locks on. So there you go, you've got a locked door already with mechs patrolling it out the front. They're your own little guard dog. We're gonna chop down some trees, chop those trees into wood slats. 
I've put a box blueprint on the floor. I'm going to fill that up. And there we go. We've got a locked building with somewhere to store our loot. You're not going to want to carry all this shit around with you. You don't want to die holding all that. You're going to be heavy and people are going to hear you, so staying light should be your first priority. Just straight back in there. Keep getting those locks. More locks, more locks. That's all we need. Just loot, loot, loot. Oh, god damn it. I just got wrecked. Jeski. Did you hear me get shot? Yeah, I guess well. Yep, sounds about right. You gotta get your fun in as well. My friend Biz there's just been killed by a player at this mech factory. It can't just be all loot, loot, loot. You gotta get out and have your fun. PvP is my favorite thing to do in this game, so let's just see if we can uh, get some revenge for our buddy Biz. Jeski dead. Well, I'm gonna come over there and get my shit. Revenge is a meal best served cold. So PvP fun time is over. So you can see I've put all these uh, improvised metal chest blueprints all over the floor. I need to fill them. I've put all their metal nails and I've hit them with the toolbox already. So the only thing I've got left is to find some lead plate, which I really had a lot of trouble with uh, on this server. But here's just a quick tip. Is you can see my inventory bag is full there. So what I'm doing there, I want that vest. So I've put that vest into that backpack on the floor. So this is a rather new thing to do in this game but now you can put stuff into backpacks and put them in your hand and there I've got two loaded backpacks perfect for looting so I crafted another few gold locks uh, in between all of this so we're gonna lock this shed up as well we really want to confuse our enemies we want to lock up everything and just make them not sure what building they should be picking we're gonna go through and just try to lock everything up in this bunker So, in order to have the loot respawn back at the bunker, once you finish looting it, you, you're going to want to get away. So you're going to want to get at least 200 meters away, and I reckon for at least 25 minutes. So get out to other places and loot there. I'm being troubled here by this bomb zombie. They're real nasty bastards, so... Just get out and have a bit of fun and explore as well. Don't get too tied down to the bunker. You need, you have to get away for the loot to respawn, so... Make sure you get out and about. This hunter's doing nothing on that fucking bomby. And there he goes. So just get out and loot. Check things out. Still have an explore. You want to enjoy yourself. You don't want to be just tied down to the bunker. So as you can see here, I've been looting a fair bit, and that chest I've made is just full, absolutely full. Just no room left for anything. I was trying to store that toolbox and those batteries in there, but just absolutely full. So it's time to take some action. We need the lead plate. I'm going to show you how to get that. I'm just going to duck outside here. I'm going to craft myself a hammer up there on the crafting menu. You won't use a hammer too often in this game, but for this situation it's required. So what we're going to do is I've taken these batteries outside here. Put your hammer in your hand. Right click on your batteries. Break battery into lead plates. If you can't find lead plate, you can get it from the batteries. I've got my lead plate there. Perfect. There they are in my inventory. Let's get back up to our shed. So you can see I've got all the blueprints ready there. They just need the lead plates. And let's fill them up. So I only had enough for four. So next what we're going to do is just name them. We want to be organized. So we'll call this one guns. 
Next one we'll call ammo. You just right click on them and go set name. We'll call this one kits for like backpacks, helmets, vests, clothes. And this one we'll call craft just for everything we're going to gather for future crafting. We'll go back to our initial crate which is absolutely full and let's just start getting organized just putting all the things in the right places ammo on the ammo kits in the kits i sped this up for you here to save you the boredom but let's clear that kit out and just get fully organized and just like that so i'm going to call this crate now uh, the dump crate, so what I usually do is just come into my base, just dump my shit in there, and then when I can be fucked being organized later, I'll come back and clear that bad boy out. So you can see I've made more locks. I've got three on this base now, which is perfect. You're going to want three gold locks on that shed. That's our primary shed. I'm going to head over to this one as well. Never mind that mech. So I'm going to lock this one up as well, because I really want the enemy to be confused. You really... Just want to make them not sure what they should be picking. Waste their pick locks. They're not going to know which one's actually your home. You're just going to want to lock up absolutely everything. There's a bra there on the floor. Let's put a bra on. Why not? And I'll just fill those blueprints up of my last crates and we're good to go. We've got a base there ready, ready for loot. Now this is a beta release game. You're going to run into little glitchy problems like that. I say just cop it on the chin and keep going. After a shitty death like that, I've spawned northeast of the mech factory. I'm going to have to make my way back to find my body. So we'll head on down past this mech factory. Strip naked. There's no point staying in your oranges. It's not going to help anything that gets spotted. I hear gunshots there to the left. I'm in no position to fight. Normally I want to fight everyone, but there's no point. But what do we have here? They've left their car at the gate. Pretty reckless. Let's see if it's locked. You know, when I see a car like this, first thing I do is I say, would you look at this? You know what I mean? Yeah, sure. Open. Beautiful. So I don't have any driving skill. Unfortunately, let's see if we can get away with this. Struggle to begin with. But once we get rolling, we are fucking sorted. Absolutely brilliant. Cars, cars are hard to find. I'm, I'm stoked. Genuinely stoked to have stolen that car. So you can see there, I've just been gathering more padlocks, crafting more locks. It's what you have to do. You've got to keep coming back, crafting locks, crafting locks. If you get yourself a car, if you're lucky enough, make sure you lock it straight away. That's where those guys made their mistake. And now we've got a car. Let's roll out for some fun with my homeboy Kilowatts. Let's go looking for trouble. Get packed. We're going on a road trip. Road trip. <laughs> road trip. There it is. Yeah, they're talking shit. The car drove past. We're at the There's airfield. Let's come back again. It knows we're here. Airfield's where you basically go to fight. If you want to fight, Ooh, airfield's yeah. where to go. I oh, know. I got one on the side on me. Going up the radio tower. So good comms from Killer there. I know he's climbing that tower. Let's see if we can spot him. There he is. <laughs> Easiest kill you're gonna get. These gunshots are hitting my building. They're obviously aware of that we're here. Now I've killed their friend. So I killed old mate in his oranges because we don't want him to get back to his guns. But every time you kill someone, you're going to want to move. I can hear multiple footsteps around me. Could be in big trouble here. 
Push with some aggression though. Oh, I absolutely dodged his sword there. Some hectic hip firing, but it got the job done. Once you kill someone, move, move, always move. Never stay in the same spot. Parkour! Let's get some parkour in. Parkour! A little bit Extreme. more parkour. parkour. And we're out. Make sure you move. Keep moving in PvP. Don't stay still. Footsteps everywhere, so... I'm just going to take a little hiding position here. Let everyone calm down for a minute. So I move again. It was too hot there. Got that car here. Not really in the market for a car right now. We're just here to kill. Let's take my new position there. I don't think I killed that guy, but once again, after you strike, make sure you move. Move, move, move. I'm getting a bit sneaky in my positioning, really holding tight angles. Got two of them there. This guy's climbing. Sitting target. It's actually his mate behind him that I got the kill on. The blood dripping there where he died. I had to take a quick shot there. That guy was looking at me. It's a bit of PvP fun. My favorite thing to do. Don't just get bogged down looting all the time. Make sure you get out and enjoy yourself. <laughs> what the fuck is going on here? Beta game. A little bit glitchy. Oh, this is how you do it. I'm a snack. A snack. What is wrong with my legs? Oh, your legs weird, mine aren't weird. What is with my legs? Look at him. Look at him. So, next we're going to look towards putting some lock protection on our doors. Lock protection zaps people when they try to pick it. That's what basic lock protection looks like. Going to craft that up there. You're going to need needles, rubber bands, tape and uh, scrap metal so they're all ingredients you want to just loot while you're looting around so I've crafted that up there let's pick that up we'll put it in our hand you're definitely gonna want this kind of lock protection on your doors so let's put that on there all that's gonna do is just zap people when they fail at picking and take some health points off a real deterrent I've also got this jerry can which I found. It's uh, full of fuel so you can fuel your cars up with jerry cans. Don't forget that. Keep that in your car. We went for a drive and we found a drop so the boys are picking it right now. What's in the first box? What's in the box? Ooh, gold locks. What's in the box? Three gold locks. Oh, really? Three gold locks. That's a nice one. Absolutely You're perfect. Some fucking dirty shit in here. Gold locks, we need all the gold locks. The rest are going to be potatoes. So when you're out cruising about in your vehicle, if you're lucky enough to find one, you pull up at these servos, you fuel up at the servos. As simple as this. Fuel car. You're going to have to shout because it's a bit noisy, but you can also fuel up your jerry cans in the same way. Just keep your wits about you, make sure you look around, you don't want to get sniped while you're here. Lucky I've got a team there to support me, so... Next we're going to take those locks and we're going to put them on this, what I call the MRE building. So the reason I'm locking all these buildings up, like I've said before, is I want them to be decoys. I don't want the enemy to know exactly what building I live in, because eventually people are going to find you. Locks on the door. So next we're going to go to our medium lock protection where we're going to need rubber bands, batteries, tape, scrap metal and electrician tools. So make sure you pick them up as you're looting along. You're going to have to pull that basic lock off the door. Put that in our hand.
but you don't have to lay all those ingredients out like I have. I've done that just for the visual effect for you, but they're all the things you're going to need. Just make sure you pick them up as you go. So as you craft that lock, we, we really want this lock protection on. The higher level of the lock protection, the more damage it's going to do to the people picking your doors. It's very important. Not only do you need to progress gold locks, you need to progress lock protection. You need to get out and have fun, but you've got to keep locking down that base. That's the main, main point when starting out. Looks good. So I kept crafting more locks, so we're going to put those on the door. As you can see here, I've put window covers on. So this is the first building, put window covers on there. I found it easier to just carry logs in there because you're going to need wood. So I've got it all laid out on the floor there. So this is the lock protection we're doing, medium. I'm only doing medium because the more advanced one, let's have a look at it now, needs all that lead plate. And that's a lot of lead plate for a building I'm not going to be living in. This is just a decoy, so we're just going to settle for the medium, which is just wood nails, scrap metal, and toolboxes, which I've got here in my backpack. So let's start putting them into the windows. Easy as that. It's going to stop people from being able to jump in. They're more likely to think it's your base if the windows are covered. Need two more planks. Let's pick them up. Put the planks in. Looks good. So back to the crafting table. So next we're going to be building the advanced lock protection. This is the biggest one you can make. It's going to give the biggest zap to anyone trying to pick your locks. It's exactly what we want. For this you need car batteries, jumper leads, tape, scrap metal, wire. And electrician tools make sure you pick all those items up as you go once again take the medium one off the door put that in your hot little hand turn around and craft so base protection is your primary goal especially in the early days you've got to keep putting more locks on putting more uh, Zap is on there. You really want to defend your base before you start getting out trying to kill everyone. Put that in my backpack. Put that on the door. You just want to keep advancing those, doing more, more, more. Just keep doing this over and over and over and over until everything is maxed out. I also built myself a bit of a carport, so I'm not going to get too much into the base building on this video, but it's just a nice tidy little carport, flag protect protected in the back, got a couple of crates in there. I'll show you where I built it. Looks good. Head on over to the bunker, that's the Z1 bunker, so it's just down the street. And there's our primary shed there with all our loot in it. Not too far, perfect spot. You can see I've got lock protectors on the door by now. I've got gold locks on there. It's just that little extra protection for your vehicle. But yeah, we'll get into base building in another video in the future. Perfect little base. So that's pretty much it. That's the Z1 bunker. Spent so much time doing loot run after loot run after loot run inside of there. We spent all our time locking up sheds like this. This here actually isn't a bad shed. You could consider putting loot in there. See, I've covered that window like I did with the other buildings. That mech's gonna watch it. You could really put loot in there as well as the other one because that mech is gonna patrol that door for you. Got this MRE building off to the side. Windows covered, doors locked. Perfect decoy building. People are gonna try to pick it and they're gonna waste their time because you're not even living in there. Let's head over the back here, behind what I call the medical building, another brown shed, also locked, perfect little decoy building, they can waste their time picking that all they want. We head past our patrol mech there that's guarding our doors for us, We've got the other MRE building, also locked, 
windows covered, another decoy. And there's our main shed. With our mech doing all the work for us. Such a perfect little shed. All full of loot. That thing's stacked full of kits, crafting stuff, guns, ammo. I'm good to go now. I'm good to fight. I'm good to look for enemies. You've also got some excellent startup loot. So you can look to move from here to a bigger base. So thanks for watching my startup. That's the gameplay I played. I'm Red Rum the Gamer. I hope you enjoyed that. Maybe I'll see you in the future for another video. Thanks for watching. See you later.